Serious Survivor here. Operation Dark Winter. What was it and how does it relate to the events that we see currently unfolding in front of us? To the supply chain issues, food shortage, and other issues that we're very likely to see this winter. But first, a quick word from our sponsors for this video. Are you happily putting your life savings on the stock market right now, despite the dangers? If you've been thinking about investing safer so you can retire comfortably and sleep at night, you could do worse than talking to a noble gold expert about the tax advantages and other pluses of precious metal IRAs. Of course, you might just love uncertainty, but if you don't, you can get a free America the Beautiful solid silver 5-ounce coin with any qualifying plan you start. Call 877-646-5347 or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Operation Dark Winter was the code name for a senior level bioterrorist attack simulation conducted on June 22nd and 23rd of 2001. It was designed to carry out a mock version of a covert and widespread biological attack on the United States. The Johns Hopkins Center for Civilian Biodefense Strategies and the Center for Strategic and International Studies, with multiple other agencies, were the principal designers, authors, and controllers of the Dark Winter Project. The objective was focused on evaluating the inadequacies of a national emergency response during the use of a biological weapon against the American population. The exercise was intended to establish preventative measures and response strategies. Now, I realize that this was 2001 in which uh, this particular exercise was carried out, and that was 20 years ago, actually a little more than 20 years ago. But the similarities in this, and I'll post some links to the actual documentation from the government on this particular exercise in the description below, but the similarities that we see are uncanny, to say the least. One of the similarities was to test the surge capability of the U.S. healthcare and public health care systems. Dark Winter revealed multiple things, and that's the fact that at that point in time, the United States got most of our oil from overseas, and we imported a lot of products like we do now. And at this point in time, we get even more products from overseas, and we import more oil than we did back then. So this could have a more devastating effect than this particular exercise actually demonstrated. But there is one particular area of the Dark Winter exercise that states Dark Winter revealed that information management and communication will be a critical element in crisis management. For example, participants worried that it would not be possible to forcibly impose vaccination or travel restrictions on large groups of the population without their general co cooperation. So this was one of their concerns in 2001, was imposed forced vaccinations and travel restrictions on large groups of the population. So this was practiced in 2001 in the simulation. And we're gonna look at the actual document here. Now this actual document, if you notice, is called a final script for the Dark Winter Exercise. The bioterrorism Exercise, Andrews Air Force Base, June 22nd, 23rd of 2001. Now, if we scroll down, and I will post the link for this, I recommend that everybody reads this. A lot of it doesn't apply, but there are some striking similarities here, and I just wanted to point this out, some food for thought, basically. If we look at the uh, context briefing, the geopolitical context briefing that we see here, basically, if we look through all this, uh, rhetoric between Taiwan and People's Republic of China has reached an all-time high. It seems like that's going on right now. Testing long-range missiles, an outbreak of disease began in Taiwan, but press reports have speculated that the current outbreak may have been deliberately introduced by the Chinese. China has denied these rumors. A lot of similarities that we're seeing here to what we're seeing today. And as we go on down and look at the U.S. domestic conditions, the U.S. economy is in good shape, and it has been an especially severe winter with heating oil prices, especially in the Northeast, are high, and we're seeing that right now, too. Look at some of the more statistics from this. And at the time of this exercise, the U.S. imports about 60% of its crude oil. And what is ironic about that is due to the closure of the pipelines, and especially if the pipeline in Michigan closes, it's estimated that we will be importing about 62% of the crude oil now. Now, the reason I'm looking at this 
exercise, um, I'm comparing some similarities to it, is because of what we see going on around us. There are a lot of parallels here. There are a lot of things that really hit close to home. For example, the crude oil. We're importing more oil than we're producing here in the United States, which in turn has driven our gas prices up, our heating oil prices up, and anything that's oil related, basically, those prices are going up. In turn, those gas prices are forcing consumers to pay more, not just at the pump, but at the checkout, at the register. It costs more money for farmers to tend their fields when the gasoline and diesel is more expensive for their tractors and their other equipment, which in turn raises the price of food, which in turn makes the availability of food a little harder for the average person. And it's very interesting when we look at this operation called Dark Winter. Now this was held 20 years ago, but what did Mr. Biden say recently? We're about to go into a dark winter a dark winter. Biden warns of very dark winter as U.S. approaches 10 million coronavirus cases. So we're in the middle of a disease, a pandemic. We're in the middle of a pandemic, and this pandemic was suspected to come from the same area that it was suspected to have come from in the dark winter exercise in, 20, in 2001. We're importing 62% approximately, or we'll reach that by the end of the year, of our crude oil and that is comparable to the 60% we were importing at the time of this dark winter exercise. Now the dark winter exercise did not turn out very well for the American public because during that phase there were forced vaccinations, there were mandatory quarantines, segregation of the population, redistribution of not just wealth but supplies, goods, food, water. These kind of things were reallocated to certain areas while other areas were basically left to fend for themselves. It basically predicted a societal breakdown. And this is really difficult because we're seeing this almost the same identical situation right now as was played out in this exercise. And this exercise did not end well for us, the American people. People lost their jobs due to closures. People lost their homes due to the inability to pay for them. People couldn't feed their families. And at the same time, there was a pandemic in this particular exercise. So I just wanted to draw those similarities to something that the government has already practiced 20 years ago that we don't hear a lot about and what we see going on today. Now what we can do, there are things we can do to help keep ourselves safe from this type of event. We can't fight something we can't see, but what we can do is we can prep the things we know for a fact we need. And that's why it's so important. Winter is a three month season in some areas of the country longer. I know here in South Carolina, we get about a month, month and a half of winter. But if we know that that winter is going to be difficult and we know this winter is going to be difficult, then right now is the time to make sure that you have enough food to make it through the entire winter. Because it's gonna be pretty hard to acquire food when the inflation has gone through the roof as we see it increasing steadily on a day, daily basis. And when the supply itself is very limited. If you're not the first in line at the stores, you're not gonna get what you need. So food and electricity so that you can remain warm are two of the most important things that we can focus on this winter. And that's not getting into the fact that we may even see some societal breakdown. We may even see some chaos and possibly some rioting. Um, we're gonna talk about that in the next video, but focus on your food supply and your electricity, at least a means to heat your home. Well, I just wanted to share that some food for thought. Thanks a lot for watching. God bless, and for now, Serious Survivor, out.